Hey there, happy artists. Welcome to Kyle Heath Art. This video is a snapshot of what my Patreon subscribers are enjoying right now with their membership. I think you'll find it relaxing, encouraging, and of course, packed full with art tips. If you like this video, you'll get so much more on my Patreon. Painting, drawing, and more. Visit the link in my description to learn more about my Patreon. And with that, onto the video. I talked a bit in the color mixing portion about how to convey glass. And I think you'll see how I try to convey glass the, the further this painting goes. But the basic idea is that when you're looking through glass, the objects that you're seeing through the glass are usually a little bit darker than the real thing and a little bit duller. Which means I want to make this portion here a little bit darker and a little bit duller than that. So that's another color decision that I'm going to be making as I go along. I want to try to convey glass by um, by making that effect. But right now we're just laying down paint. I'm painting on something called gesso board right now, and I've never used it before. I picked it because I really wanted to paint this in five by seven, five inches by seven inches dimension. And uh, the only five by seven kind of canvas thingy I had was this new gesso board that I bought. And um, man, I love it so far. I love the way it feels. I've heard people refer to it as really slippy and slidey. And that kind of made me uncomfortable, like made me not want to try it. <clears throat> Cause I'm not a slippy and slidey kind of guy. <laughs> uh, out of context, that would sound very weird. But you know, I don't use like Buku medium or thinner in my paint or anything. This is just, you know, straight up oil paint, unchanged. I don't like to slip and slide, but this stuff is actually grabbing my paint. It's not slipping and sliding at all. I love it. I love it, I love it. I'll definitely be using it again. I'm getting the teal off now because I want to lay in some of the foreground. Starting with the shadow. I'm sure that I made this shadow too brown looking. But I think I like the value that I picked. I think that's good, so I can mess with the color later. Or maybe I'll, I'll end up liking this style. That color being like kind of different. We'll find out. I really like how fast this painting is developing. Usually I'll paint on like an eight by eight. And uh, I try to finish a painting in a single sitting. Always, always, always. I kind of lose patience otherwise. And I also don't want to be too precious about what I'm painting. I want to get in there and paint and get out. Um, but man, the size that you choose of a canvas really makes a big difference in how fast that painting moves along. Kind of makes sense. If you want your painting to move slower, get a big old canvas or get a teeny tiny brush. That's one of the secrets to painting faster, which is especially useful if you have a humongo canvas, is get as big of a brush as you are comfortable using. And you can knock out paintings way faster that way. 
whenever I paint like a 12 by 12, 12 inch by 12 inch, which is big for me. Um, I'll use a big brush, like an inch, inch and a half wide. Just slap those colors in there, especially on the first pass. It feels so good to see a huge painting develop that quickly. So good. All right, so I've made my first pass of the painting. I've got paint pretty much everywhere on the canvas and all the big elements are there. So now I wanna take a step back and just look at this for a minute. And if, if you can actually get up, step back and look at it, <laughs> that's, that's the real way to do it. It really helps you to get context for your piece because when you're painting, you're, you know, your nose is right on there scoping everything out. Thank you. 